two stage discounting model and uh, how to solve a case and find out equity value or value per share of a company. Now this case that we have uh, the explicit forecast period is of uh, uh, is of seven years and uh, the growth rate for uh, this case uh, is uh, 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 during the explicit forecast period is 10 percent and during the terminal period it is four percent so therefore uh, since the uh, growth rate uh, during the explicit forecast period is 10 percent uh, my fcfe uh, for the year ending on 31st march 2021 is going to be equal to uh, 500 into 1.1 and that is 550 that is 550 now uh, it is incrementing every year at the rate of 10 percent so okay. For the second year, it is going to be 605. For the third year, it is uh, for the third year, uh, it is oh. it is going to be 650, 665. Yeah. And fourth year, 732. Uh, fifth year, 805. Sixth year, 886. And seventh year, it is going to be 974. All right. Okay. So. Uh, you can please check uh, if your matching. if your numbers are matching accordingly matching, matching. and if your numbers are matching that of course is a good sign right uh, Prasanna sir you also can please uh, match your numbers and yeah. see whether they are coming same I am sure they must be same they cannot be different uh, all right so this is how I will calculate my uh, free cash flow for equity now uh, how do I calculate my discount factor so my discount factor, uh, first I need to calculate as to what is my, uh, what is my cost of equity. <clears throat> and how do I calculate my cost of equity? It of course is very simple. I use the capital, I use, use the capital asset pricing model. And what is capital asset pricing model? It is risk-free rate plus uh, beta and bracket uh, market return minus the risk-free rate. So this, when I solve this equation for the case that we have, I get a cost of equity of 13.5%. That means what? That means I need to find out the first dis discount factor. So how do I find out the discount factor? 1 upon 1.135 and that is my discount factor for year 1. And what I do? I simply uh, copy this formula and uh, put 1.135 and my uh, discount factor for second year is also received as uh, 0.776 and then what I do then I simply drag it so when I simply drag it uh, I get my discount factor which is uh, <clears throat> 0.776 uh, for uh, second year 0.68 for third year so on and so forth now what I need to do next step is uh, I need to compute my uh, my present value of future future uh, present value of free cash flows for equity. So how do I find it out? Of course, it's very simple. I simply need to multiply the cash flow of the year with the corresponding discount factor. And when I do that, I get my cash flow for the year uh, one. And then what I do? I simply drag it for the remaining six years and that gives me my uh, cash flow my present value of my cash flow for uh, all the seven years and uh, you know for the sake of simplicity uh, I always avoid taking decimal points uh, because decimal points do not make any change and they look your they make your uh, numbers uh, look complicated so I, I would generally speaking and I've seen your answer also will not change here and in any case they will not give you options uh, that can have such a minute difference that if you change the decimal point your answer can ch change that will not happen right so if I total it up then what do I get I get my uh, uh, present value of uh, all my uh, cash flows for the explicit forecast period which is coming 3,093 or 94 sir are you also getting the same number 
Yes, yes. Three okay. zero nine three point eight seven. Excellent, sir. Excellent, excellent. And present, sir. Yeah, I'm very good. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful. Now what we need to do? So we have calculated the uh, we have calculated the uh, present value of uh, FCFE for the explicit forecast period. Now we need to do the same thing for the uh, terminal period. Now how do I find out my terminal period uh, cash flow? So I will find out my uh, FCFE. Uh, uh, FCFE for the terminal period by uh, firstly taking this figure and multiplying this figure with 1.04 because uh, that is the uh, growth rate during the uh, during the uh, terminal period so then I divide this by uh, my cost of capital which is 0.135 and I also minus from here my growth rate which is during the during the uh, uh, during the terminal period which is uh, point zero point zero four and I close this so that uh, my calculations come right and this is what I do so I get my uh, cash flow uh, for the uh, terminal period that is coming ten thousand six sixty seven uh, sir are you getting same number Yes, sir. Ten thousand six fifty nine point fifty. Okay, that's fine. Actually, that's perfectly okay. Uh, Prasanna, sir. Uh, can you can you explain this again? Uh, yeah, sure, of course, sure. So uh, remember, uh, uh, how do we calculate the cash flow for the terminal period? 